Drew, Carl Spredis here. Thanks for joining me for another Decide Destiny Daily Dose. Decide to have more heart and less venom. Decide to be kinder. Let's have less vilification. Did you know that from the age of 14 to 45, the leading cause of death in Australia, suicide? It's so important that we actually look at what we can do, that we can actually change this narrative, that we can actually impact it, that we can actually make a mark and make difference. We don't have to look at how we can be more divisive and how we can vilify each other and how we can have me versus them and my beliefs versus their beliefs and they're the, they're the, they're the tyrannical mon monster and <clears throat> I'm the good saint sent from the heavens. Maybe we can have more understanding. Maybe we can have more empathy. Maybe we can have more connection. You know, and maybe we don't need to listen to you know, the, the venom that's been spewed in the corridors of our society, in different sectors. Maybe we don't have to play in that game. Maybe we can let others play, play that chessboard and, and we can actually look to connect, look to understand, look to, you know, share bread with each other, break bread with each other, regardless of our different thoughts. I mean, do you want to be in a world where everybody just thinks the exact same thing? Do you want to be in a world where everyone's just a carbon copy? Where it's just a factory line of human beings? Or do you want to be a world where people have differences? I mean, I've had different opinions um, in one year. I've had different views and thoughts um, in one year and it changes. And then I'll read a book that goes against my opinions and beliefs and I'll, then I'll read another book that affirms my opinions and beliefs. But I love being challenged. I love challenging my thought process. I love challenging what I thought was true, um, you know, and my beliefs and, and what I held so true as my virtues and, and being challenged and then looking from a, like a topographic, look, looking from above, you know, taking a bird's eye view of it and looking at it and how it plays out in my life and how those beliefs actually contribute to me connecting with other souls and hearts and how it may, may not contribute and just come in and taking that step back. And it's, you know, if you look in history, in, and especially we can say in, in, in our Western civilization, look at how destabilization works. And it goes way back. It goes way back to the days of Persia and Greece, where the Persians found, instead of fighting with the Greeks, um, they found it a lot easier to destabilize the Greeks. And how do you do that? You pit one against the other. You say, I'll make you rich and happy and, and have all these pleasures. If you you know, inflict pain on that, that, that tribe there, if you inflict pain on that person over there. And this has happened in all parts of the world um, over and over and over again. An easier way, like an easier strategy, I guess, for like a power grab or, or a land grab is to destable, is to pit one person against the other, one side against the other. Um, and, and surely history repeats itself, but maybe we can, we can be the difference, we can change that narrative. We can look at kindness, not vilification, um, you know, not dismissing each other. Just that number again, from the age of 14 to 45, think about that. From 14 to 45, that's where most of your life is. You know, from zero to the age of 14, you're learning, you're growing, you're developing. And from 14 to 45, you're going out there in the world. You know, you're acting, oh, I know myself at the age of 14. It was freaking, there were some rough times and it was difficult, it was hard. And actually having someone there who was kind, having someone there who didn't look to vilify or didn't look to um, pit me against someone else or didn't look to blame me or attack me, it actually made a world of difference. Someone that actually just looked to show love and show consideration and, and welcome me in regardless of all you know, my abnormalities as we all have abnormalities or my own peculiarities or my own um, you know, different certain ways. But they, but those, those um, beautiful grandparents took me in, and they they showed me love and they showed me kindness, and that's actually how I began to heal from that younger period of my time, my, my life. So, yeah, it's really important that we actually look at when we might be sending venom at each other, when we might be attacking each other, when we might be, you know, look at the language. Language is so powerful. When are you using language that's divisive? <clears throat> when are you using language that? Is someone else's input into your mind, into your ears, into your eyes, that actually makes you divide 
and, and, and separate yourself from another human. Because as soon as that, that little trickle starts where you start to kind of, you know, have that human lesser than you, kind of judge and kind of go, mm, you know, I'm going to separate you from me and then you're lesser than me. That's where all sorts of tyranny comes into play. So just keep that in mind, you know. Keep it in mind that you can be kind, that you can actually look to join, that you can come to a common place and that you don't need to have that separation and that vilification. And you can actually have a kind heart and not spew venom. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Share it around with anyone else you know who uh, needs to hear this message. I think a lot of people need to reiterate this message. I need to reiterate this message. I mean, I'm no different than you. One thing I can say is, um, you know, where do I get upset or where do I kind of um, separate myself is when I see people that don't hold the door open for other people. You know, simple thing. But that's where I can get, and I can see myself getting into that, that vilification and that judgment and that anger and that bitterness and that, you know, why do these people do that? Where, you know, where the right way is this? And I can see that and I have to bite my tongue. I have to put myself back and just breathe and just, and just observe and realize, okay, maybe this person's um, in their own head. Maybe they've got something else going on in their life. And just take a step back and not jump into that attack, that aggressive, that how do I divide from this human being because they must be less than me but rather how do I connect to this human being and understand them better. That's the goal. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Share it around with anyone else you think uh, this, could, this message could help out with. And as always, remember, decide your destiny. Cheers.